adding text behind. Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you a simple tutorial on how to add text behind a moving object. So last time I did a very cool transition tutorial on DaVinci Resolve, which if you haven't seen, I'll leave it down below. Uh, I've received a very good response for that video. And some of you have been asking me to do more such tutorials. So this is one very cool tutorial uh, where you can add in text behind a moving object. Uh, for those who don't know, I'm Fenzer. I do travel tech and filmmaking on this channel. So if you're into that sort of stuff, please consider hitting the subscribe button. So in this video, I'll be showing you two methods to achieve this and both are applicable on free version of DaVinci Resolve. So let's dive into DaVinci Resolve to show you how it's done. So these are the three video clips that I have. The very first thing that I would be doing is I want to duplicate these clips. I'm going to highlight all and going to drag it one layer above. I want to leave one gap here to add in the text. You can change the color code of this uh, video layer. I've changed it to orange. This is done because in the color tab, it will be easy to know which one is which. So as I told you, I'll be showing you two methods to achieve this. Uh, the very first method is the easiest one. And this method will not work in all cases. In this particular video, for example, it's going to work because we have color separation from the subject and the background. But in this case, for example, there is no much color separation. If you have a sky in the background, it will be more easy with the first method. Uh, but in this case, there is no sky. So I would prefer doing with the second method. So let's get going. Uh, let me show you the easy method first and then I will tell you about the second step. So I want to make changes on this orange uh, clip or this layer. So I come to color tab. Uh, as you can see, there is orange right here. So what I would do is after the grade, I add in one node here and in this node where I will be performing this particular step. So in this step, I'm not using the mask. I'm just using the qualifier right here and select to this 3D right here and click the qualifier. If it doesn't show up, you can select qualifier from here and then click here. So what I want to do is isolate the sky. For that, all I have to do is just keep drawing. So I have the sky selected. Just select this one to know which part got selected. Now I can see that the subject got selected and the sky didn't get selected. So I want to invert this one. Come here. There is an option called invert. Now you can see there is still a uh, hard uh, boundaries on this. You can adjust that by uh, increasing the pre filter to about uh, maybe 19 to 20. Then also play with the clean black. It's going to reduce the hardness to a little bit. Now let me disable the highlight. So you have the sky selected now. Now next thing what I want to do is right click, add alpha output. Now the blue circle becomes visible. Now I have to just join the dots to the blue circle. Now you can see that if I disable this, uh, the sky got selected. So now what I'll do is I'll add in a text right here. Now let me adjust this. I can add something like text and maybe change the font. Maybe increase the size. I can play a little bit with the position. Now you can see that the text has appeared behind the subject. In this particular case, there is no uh, sky available. So this method won't work that much. So in this case, what I would do is again, come to the color tab, select the orange clip. In such cases, I would prefer drawing a mask. So I come to mask, select the pen tool and just draw a mask around the subject. The more perfect the mask is, the better result you'll have, as I told you in the previous video. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to show you a quick uh, approach. 
just join the two dots to complete the mask. Once you have the mask, come to this right here and select the icon with two arrows. This will track if ever there is any sort of motion in the video. Okay, it has tracked well. Now what I have to do is again add in alpha output. The blue circle will come. Just join the dots. So now what happens is again if I drag in the text. If I disable the video below you can see this is the mask and if I enable the video you have the text that comes behind. In this particular example I tried both the methods but I found the second method to be more precise because because since the jacket is black and if I select the sky it's sort of giving an artifact. So in this case I prefer using the mask method only. So there you have it, uh, all these methods can be used on the free version of DaVinci Resolve. So you don't need a paid studio version to do these both steps. So I really hope uh, this video was helpful to you in some way. So if you guys need any tutorials on any topics on DaVinci Resolve, do let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to do one. I've done a lot of tutorials on my channel, so feel free to check that out as well. So that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.